Hey guys, so here you can see a simple workflow breakdown image of an LLM guardrail. Uh, as you can see, there are two guardrails uh, sitting in between the user input, uh, user prompt and the response. Uh, so it all starts with the user prompt, uh, the user query. Uh, before the user query reaches the LLM, there is a guardrail as you can see, it checks for uh, the request, if the request is harmful, if the request is allowed under the company policy or is sensitive data being sent uh, so it checks for all this toxicity and uh, if it fails, if it fails, the request is blocked and the response will not be generated, right? And uh, the second thing will be if it if it passes, right? The LLM basically generates the response. And now LLM response generation happens, but again, there is a guardrail sitting in between the LLM response and then the response that is going out to the user, right? Uh, so before the response is returned to the user, Another guardrail checks for the output, and again it verifies. It verifies for uh, for the same things like does it contain hallucinations, policy violations, legal risk. Does it contain toxic or any biased content? Um, is it leaking any private data or uh, make medical financial claims or something like that? So if it fails, again the output is not generated, and if it passes, the output is generated and it is shown to the user as a output response. So as simple as that. Uh, so we will see this in action through a simple tutorial.